America, we need to talk. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? Look, it's been three years since the Spanish-American War. Yeah, the war in which I helped you get from under the control of Spain, who's profiting greatly from your natural resources. By the way, you remind me a lot of my younger days. Fighting for independence, becoming independent, those were the good days. Yeah, yeah. Look, I don't have time to sit here and listen to you reminisce on your independence. It's been three years and your military is still here. Yeah? What about it? I'd like it if you left. Are you kicking me out? Yes. Today we're going to talk about the Platt Amendment. The Platt Amendment was an amendment that set the conditions to end the United States military occupying in Cuba and was passed at the end of the Spanish-American War of 1898, formulated by Secretary of War Elie Hiru and presented to the Senate by Senator Orville H. Platt. In 1898, the U.S. was occupying Cuba as part of its involvement in maintaining the island's newfound independence. Once the war was over, Cuba didn't like the idea of being under the control of another foreign power and wanted to be completely independent. However, the U.S. still wanted to maintain influence in Cuba because in doing so, the U.S. had great economic and political benefits. In order to keep this influence, the Platt Amendment was passed. The Platt Amendment set eight conditions that the Cuban government had to agree to before the U.S. would withdraw the military forces. One of the conditions Cuba had to agree with was that they were not allowed to sign treaties with any foreign countries. Another condition was that foreign countries were not allowed to occupy Cuba for military purposes. It gave the United States the right to interfere with Cuba's business, ratified and validated all acts of the United States in Cuba during its military occupancy, and demanded the sanitation of the cities of the islands be improved just like an overbearing parent would do. Although the United States intervened militarily in Cuba only twice, in 1906 and 1912, Cubans generally considered the amendment an infringement on their sovereignty. When presented the terms of the Platt Amendment to the delegates of the Cuban Constitutional Convention in late 1900 by General Leonard Wood, commander of the U.S. Occupation Forces and Military Governor of Cuba, they originally refused to include it within their constitution. But the United States government promised them a trade treaty that would guarantee Cuban sugar exports access to the U.S. market. After several failed attempts by the Cubans to reject or modify the terms of the Platt Amendment, the Cuban Constitutional Convention finally succumbed to the American pressure and ratified it on June 12, 1901. The Platt Amendment remained in force until 1934 when both sides agreed to cancel the treaties that enforced it. And that is the Platt Amendment and all you need to know about it. Thank you for watching.